Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We are starting our Valentine's Day boost <laughs> of all of our Valentine's jewelry and talking to Catherine from Lundin's gift store in Culver City. Hello. And this is Maggie. Hi. She works there, right? Yeah, I manage the store. You manage the store. And Catherine's the owner. So thank you for joining me. Thanks for having us. Um, I'd like to start off, but let's talk about how long you've been there in that little location. <laughs> been there for ten and a half years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's a long time. It is a long time. I it's remember crazy. when I first met you and you it was just a little idea. Well we met <laughs> yeah, because we met at the convention center at a trade show. At, and the, I, give, at the LA <laughs> gift show. And I said, Oh, this is really cute and we started talking. She's like Wait, you're opening a store in Culver City? Yeah, you She's saw like, my um, sign. Where? <laughs> yeah. She's like, are you sure? <laughs> well, we and desperately needed. Yeah, we, yeah, we desperately needed a, a little retail yes. shop. Well, that's what I thought. Yes. So that's why I did it. Yes. So ten and a half years, and she's been carrying the Rafi jewelry line for that long, and we've been doing uh, great with it. It's been yeah. wonderful. So tell me, I know I've been to your store. It's it's a small store, but she's packed a lot of wonderful, great things in there. So tell me how you started and um, what inspired you to do what you do there. Well, my family has a store in Minnesota that I grew up in, and that's 104 years old. Wow. So that's the same name as Lundin, so that's why I named it Lundin's, because I kind of felt I had to pay homage to the 104-year-old wow. store. Um, so I moved to Culver City in 2002, and from just like mid-Wilshire area, and where there's a lot of shops, and then when I moved here, I'm like, I don't know where to get a little something. Mm -hmm. And so it took me six years, right? Six years? to finally open up the store. Wow. Yeah. And is, everything, it, is it very much modeled like the store in Minnesota, or is it different? There's a couple things okay. that are the same. The, their store is really big. They have printing. They have a really big bookstore. They have a huge space, as opposed to my teeny space. <laughs> but I love what you did with your teeny space, right? I mean, you could probably, since you're the manager, you see everything that's going on, and it's right there. You don't have to go walking all over the place to see anybody or help anybody. Yeah, so, pretty much. It's right. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. It's very compact. I love yeah. it. I love all the stuff that's in there. Thank um, you. I get a lot of gifts and cards from your store because my husband. Your husband. <laughs> yeah, he's a good. Customer. He's a good shopper. Yes. <laughs> so he buys a lot of, um, believe it or not, Jeez. cards and earrings. Yeah. <laughs> not hers. I'm like, wait, what are you doing? I think you. He's like, she likes other. I do, I do, and it's something that's been a part of our relationship, and um, ever since I've met him and been with him since 1979, yeah. um, he's always bought me earrings, and so even though I make jewelry, it's something yeah, that, it's you know, I look forward to it. Yeah, I don't have to always wear mine that yeah, I make. Right. <laughs> no, that's nice, and then you can be inspired by right. somebody else's. Exactly. Does he get a gift wrapped? Yes, it's always, it's always mm -hmm. gift wrapped with the card. From your store as well. Yeah. She sells a lot of great cards too, so it's a it's a great place to stop in to buy that little gift on your way to something. She has baby things, um, home stuff, candles, a little bit of everything. Yeah, stationery, <laughs> jewelry, um, yes. journals, right, yeah. and books. Yeah. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff in a small little area. Because when I first started, I was the only store, I kind of still am the only store in the kind <laughs> yes, area. <laughs> so I thought I'll just, you know, carry a little bit of everything until mm -hmm. somebody else comes in and then we'll see what what's what. But I just still carry a little bit of everything because we still need to and everyone comes in for, you know, the best is like on Saturday mornings people will come in for a baby, like a, a baby shower or right. a birthday right on the way to it because they know we wrap and they know they'll find something. So that's a 
nice testament to like exactly. they know they're gonna find something, yeah. which is really really great. Yes, yeah. and and to wait till the last minute to do it yeah. and take your chances. No. Yeah, I think that's great. You know, we save a lot of lives. You so. do. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's great. And yeah. you have two entrances. So you have the Washington and Colton yeah. Boulevard. Which is really great. Yes. Yeah, so please go and visit the store. It's in downtown Culver City. And um, the other thing I wanted to ask is have you, since you've been around for 10 and a half years, have you noticed like more people have learned about you that are new through just driving past, walking past, or? Do you advertise? How do you get your customers? It's mostly word of mouth and word people mouth. walking by. And I mean, every day we have at least two or three people that say, "Oh, I've lived here for yeah. five years. I've I've never been in, and now it's my favorite place." You know, it's it's funny. We ever we we do a couple ads, but not really. Not really. It's mostly really like word of mouth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't. And people passing by. Yeah. You don't have a website. Yeah. Okay. But we do social media. We try and keep up on that. And every every time you get new products in, do you blast that out? About it, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. There's and a lot of new stuff coming right now. A lot of, so new stuff. Lot of boxes. A lot of Lots of boxes. <laughs> yeah. That's fun though. Yeah. That's fun. And, and and the holiday season kind of you get, you get a little bit wiped out, out and, and then you have to restock the shelf. So which is yeah. fun. It's really fun. Yes, you know? exactly. Because then you you get to shop. So tell me where you get your inspiration from for when you are putting stuff in there. Like is there certain things that you look for? Is there new designers that you look for new items or do you stick with similar people? There's certain people that we always have mm -hmm. that are like our core, but it's always fun to bring new people in. Mm -hmm. um, and it's always really exciting when you see something that you haven't seen before. And okay. it's like, oh, so it's so exciting. So it and has still to sort to of, the shows. yeah. Okay. So it kind of has to make us feel like, ooh, I want that. I would have that. I want that for myself. And yeah. I think that's a really great way when you are in the store. Do you go shopping with her uh -huh. too? So when you when you are a store owner, is something about your taste that if you like it, yeah, then others are gonna like it too. Yeah, and I feel like that's the way that buyers shop for my jewelry line because once they like it, then you know they're totally. gonna sell it better. Yeah, too. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. What, you 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 do you say like if it doesn't sell it's mine? Cause oh well, I buy a lot of stuff for me. Because so. <laughs> <No, that's true. laughs> yeah, a lot of times I'll make things and I'll go well if it doesn't sell it's mine. Oh no, I definitely do that. I yeah. I do. Okay. okay. Do. The higher and end, she always tries to put like a high end something in there, and, and we'll just say if I'll just buy it. If it doesn't, doesn't sell, because yes. I really want it myself. But I'll I'll let somebody get it if they want. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So we have an audience that watches. Um, do we have any questions? We do. Okay. What do you think is the future of retail since so many people shop online now? Ew. Well, I think we're kind of like, well, for us, I think we're still in a very good position because of your location. People, of our location and what we carry, I think it's a little, people, like we said, like we can, gift wrap for them and so they can come in and grab and go I think whereas mm -hmm. opposed to online shopping you know you have to wait I, I, I don't know I, I mean for us I'm, I'm not that worried about it actually yeah. for us but and also a lot of people it is scary. come in as a stress reliever like they'll be like oh god this just is exactly what I needed because they're just surrounded by all these creative things made by creative people and you just sort of feel it when you're in the store. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole different feel than when you're buying online. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. And there's always something they didn't yeah. know they you know, needed or didn't know was out there. It's different because when you're online you're sort of looking for something specific. Mm -hmm. But when you're in the store, you browse yeah, and things will jump out at you. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. a good question. Any other questions? What advice would you give someone who wants to open up a brick and mortar location? Well, it takes a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a not lot of money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of patience and a lot of um, 
vision and sticking to really what you want to do. Um, but I don't know. It, it's been worth it for me. Like, I, I love it. I love it. So perseverance, patience, money. Good yeah. manager. A good manager. A good manager. Good employees. Really. Yeah, good employees. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. actually, yeah, does yeah. make a huge difference. In any business, I think you know having a good team is uh, so uh, important. It's very important, and it's going to either you know be your success or yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Any other questions? Do you ever plan on opening an online store? For years. For <laughs> it may happen this year, actually. Oh, good. Yes. Okay. Yes. Don't hold your breath, but maybe this year. <laughs> maybe this year. Well, I mean, I that's a whole other piece, yes, right? Yes. It's like yeah. a whole. It's, I mean, because there's a, spaces in another the store. store. Yes, and you have to take pictures and you have to upload them and, you know, keep inventory yeah. and all of that so there's we've been thinking about it for a couple of years yeah. so you can it's start small small yeah i think so yes yeah, it's time so. it's time mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay so we'll take a little break from taking um more questions but i'm going to be making well let's talk about some jewelry so they put on some jewelry while they've been here. Like <laughs> She's got the be kind necklace on which we've been promoting a lot um yeah. and sweet Actually, Maggie here put on the new Capricorn necklace, and she is a Capricorn. Yes, so flaunt that yeah. I'm bossy and organized. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Jenny's not here today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she would love that. So anyway, they're wearing yeah. a few things, Fun. and we put it's out a pretty little um, setup. Yeah, yeah, those Good. are great. We we had a a great time doing those. We did a bunch of them for because Valentine's Day is coming. <laughs> Yeah, so one of my is. girls, we had to make so many for uh, an order for Neiman Marcus. Oh, <laughs> yes. that's great. Yes. Yeah, so they're that, really great. They're really fun. There's a nice yeah. little... Um, Such a pretty setup. There's a nice little necklace that matches somewhat of that, and it has like a little rhinestone on there. There's the Be Kind necklace over there as well. Um, we've been sort of going more into the reds and the pinks and everything trying to do for the valentine's yeah, day yeah love these, day these say love on them where did you get the candy hearts i thought those were no longer really yeah, that's what i oh heard. i just got um, it at the drugstore you? yeah at oh Brady. my god where did where you get my news from <laughs> really <laughs> Oh, oh, I think I, I felt like the I only heard. thing I didn't like is that they didn't. The writing wasn't can't see so. That yeah, they weren't so mm. you know, bold. Huh. So but, cute. It's cute. It's cute. But they, I, I yeah. You how's I'm how, so how's so uh, Valentine's Day without those? You know? I know, right? Yeah. You it's gotta just have like, them. You gotta have them. It is <clears> too. <throat> they don't taste the best, but they're so cute. They're iconic. And then I also put um, these two heart necklaces here. Those are our number one sellers, so I thought maybe, you know, we could show those. We are going to do a 14-day love and gratitude challenge um, oh, nice. for Valentine's Day, which will start next next week is the first, I think. Yeah. So we'll next start Friday. next week and go on till um, February 14th for the 14 That's days. That's sweet. That's great. So for Valentine's Day. And we're going to be making... Um, we're calling it a Hardarita. So we're making a strawberry basil margarita here. And I've got some crushed ice in here. And I'm going to put some basil in here. It's going to be so pretty. Yes. Look, smell that. I know. Can you smell it? Yeah. Nice. It's really. Mm -hmm. Pungent. So what you want to do is you just want to muddle that until you release some of the oils out of the herbs and get that flavor. And then what I did was I put together strawberry and lime juice and some honey. This is just some orange blossom honey. Just like a little tablespoon of that, some strawberries, and some lime juice, and I pureed it. Now, you could puree this with the alcohol oh. in it, but what would be the purpose of me making a drink? <laughs> so, <laughs> bartending. so I'm bartending here, yes. <laughs> so what you have is some tequila. So I'm going to 
gonna put a shot of that in there. And this is Hornitos. It smells so good. I'm not an alcohol drinker, but it, it smells really, mm, yeah. really nice. Yeah, ready? It's the, actually the only we really like tequila. I do. It's really okay. Really okay. Nice. Well, I'm glad I picked a good yeah. drink yeah. then. Yeah. And this is some Contra. If I can open it. That smells like orange. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I thought that would go well with mm -hmm. the orange blossom honey. So you're going to add the Contra in here. And then, this is good too because you can take it with you somewhere if you wanted to and you didn't want to mix the alcohol, but you wanted to, you know, let's say you're going to your friend's house or whatever oh. and you want to bring yeah. a drink with you. So you can bring it to put together there, you know. And then I'm just going to pour some of this into here, I'm not even measuring. I didn't do about half the mixture. And I've taken um, some lime juice and put it around the rims of my glasses. Oh, and so all I did was um, kosher salt around oh, it. Yeah. And then I'm just going to shake this up. It's going to be so pretty. So pretty. I feel like I could use a little bit more of the strawberry. just because I'm making two drinks. And you can put more alcohol in it too if you want to. I'm not trying to get these ladies drunk. <laughs> it is like so it is three yeah. I mean, it's, it's so Friday, yeah. but. It's Friday, but we're trying to be good. And then I've got a strainer uh, cap on there, so I'm just gonna strain that through. That's a really handy um, shaker. Yeah. Like a portable shaker. I like it. So one for Maggie and one for Catherine. So are you a sh consider yourself a chef? Do you like to? I love to cook. Yeah, do you? Yes, I love to cook. I love to bake, and I apparently love to make drinks that I don't drink either. <laughs> so and then you can garnish this with. Um, I just put some strawberry slices in here, and can do a couple of those. And just for fun, you can do a little bit of basil, you know? Easy garnish. So pretty. I love it. It's so yeah. pretty. And it's easy to do. So romantic. And romantic. It is. So that's why the we're ladies. calling it. I um, love this. Ladies. Guys. Mm hmm. <laughs> so we're calling it the Harderitas. Oh, and by the way, I took these bindies. Oh, that's here. so cute. You want to put a little. Um, Show them little bindies. We sell them here in packets, and you can decorate your glasses with them. And that's what I that's did so at the fun. bottom of these. You can see. Here's one for you. Are and they one for you? Thank you. Come off? Can you put? Yeah, them on you can other, take you them. Can just you can kind of take them off and and try, put them back onto the cellophane that it comes on. And then you can just use like eyelash glue or something and put it back on oh. right now. So if you want to buy any of those, they're they're there, they're not that much, and it's perfect for you know, yeah. decorating your glasses. Totally. You can put them in your hair, you can put them, Felicia's wearing, she's behind the camera today, but she's wearing one on her. Oh, <laughs> you nailed it. Oh yeah, you know. Oh, nice. <laughs> anyway, let's cheers. Okay. And cheers. Cheers and try oh, the trick and tell me how you cheers. like it. Mmm. Yeah? That's really good. That's yeah. really good. Goes down easy? That, yeah. Is there enough alcohol? <laughs> I mean, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. really, good. It's really good. good. Are there any like, other questions? It's one of those ones where you could drink way too fast because it's well, yeah, so delicious. Well, yeah, because you're not going to really do really it. Yeah. You can't taste the alcohol. You know, it's like so. a little bit of a smoothie. I was really, you feel really healthy. I was generous. <laughs> I didn't do the small shot, so but, you know. <laughs>
But I can smell that strawberry mm -hmm. basil. It's really mm. pungent. It's really it's delicious. The yeah. smell is strong. It's great. Thank you. Try it yeah. out. We'll have our so um, we'll have the recipe up on our blog, and you, so you can try it out. And um, we'll have more recipes coming for more Valentine's Day drinks in the next couple of weeks. And any more questions? Yes. Um, what challenges have you faced as a female business owner? Good question. It is a really good question. As a female, I, I don't think, as a business owner, for me, I don't think it has mattered that I'm a female. Or I, I, I feel is like it because I don't of have the to, industry that probably because it's a gift store. I, don't, I mean, not that they're right. I don't know. I feel the same I'm, way. If I was to answer that question, because of the industry that I'm in. I they feel like expected yeah. to be a woman in a way. I think. In a, yeah. Or. or um, Sorry, guys. Not just that you can't fashion. open a gift store. <laughs> <laughs> just fashion in general. It just it doesn't seem to have like as many of that kind yeah. of obstacle. Yeah. At least those obstacles. Yes. You right. Know? Um, I haven't really. I have. I feel like I. I haven't. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I can't have. think of. I can't I mean, think of one. No, and there it's are, not like there you feel any less safe or anything, right? Yeah. Well, you're in there I don't probably feel like more no than like her, so do you feel like the whole downtown Culver City area and the shop and everything is a safe? Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, I'll stay mm -hmm. till midnight at the shop and feel very comfortable. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't help that police, you know, the they're, police they're, 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 they're right there. They're right there. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> so please go check out and any more questions <laughs> or one comments. Last, one last question. What do you ladies want as gifts for Valentine's Day? Oh. Oh. Jewelry! Yes, <laughs> always jewelry. Always. always wrap your jewelry. <laughs> yes. Chocolate and jewelry. Cho and oh, yes. And, what, and I have the... these um, I have these beautiful chocolates. And then I received this oh, that's beautiful oh, that's plate. Pretty. And it's like a make-a-wish. Uh, what do you oh, call those? Dandelion. Wheat? Dandelions, yes. So that's it's so pretty. An, it's from um, Anthropology. Shout out to Colleen Jones who who sent it to me the other day, it's and really um, it's beautiful. So I thought I would use it today. And these are some little heart cookies. So we always love chocolate. We love fresh flowers, and we always love jewelry. Always jewelry. <laughs> and I like that Anthropology actually uses a lot of um, local designers. They take little right. companies and then they put them in there big retail stores, which is really nice. My favorite store. Yeah. My good. favorite store. And throughout my career um, in in this industry and in doing jewelry, I've had the opportunity to sell there as well. And That's great. it was such a high. Yeah, you know, they're, they're good to, about finding new talents. Yeah, and such a too. high to be able to say, you know, yeah, <laughs> totally. We had several totally. orders from there. One of my very first big orders ever was from them, back in That's you so know. Good. And I've been around for 19 years now yeah. doing this. So, yeah, yeah it, it's been. Thank you. <laughs> so I love I love their stuff. I love the all the home stuff that they have mm -hmm. there. Yeah. You know, it's great. Any other questions? So we'll see you guys next week. Thanks to Catherine and Thank Maggie you. for joining me today. See you at the shop. And go check out the shop. Yeah. In downtown Culver City, right by Starbucks, yep. there, right across the street from the fire station. City Hall, yep. See, see you guys next week, and Bye. try our Hardarita. Bye. <laughs>